What, what I really want to do is, is be able to give prisoners a chance, a second chance. Because a lot of prisoners have been in the, they broke the law and got in there, but they're basically good people. And what they need is they need, okay, first off, I want to make an assessment. I want to get my first uh, class, I would like to get 300 inmates that have been assessed to make sure, you know, that they're psychologically and, uh, and intellectually mm -hmm. uh, ready to take on this new role. And then I, after I get those 300 chosen, they got to sign a contract that they're not going to break any rules or, or regulations. Then I want the University of Wisconsin through uh, the, the campus down in Kenosha and the vocational school down there and Carthage College to come up and develop programs. And I want Rogers or some psychological evaluation to come in and evaluate them. Right. And then I want them to be able to become somewhat like interns. I want a business on the outside, like a Foxconn. Fo you mentioned Foxconn and... D WMC. Or WMC. And to be able to monitor, but also sponsor. And then once th everybody has, has signed off on them, that they feel they can leave, let them go into that company. And it's a, it's a seamless system. It allows that individual to be able to get alcohol and drug free, be able to get educated, have a skill, have a company that will buy into them and invest in them, and all these companies need help. And so it's a great feeder for these companies, and they can be trained to do a, a wonderful job and become reintegrated into society. Do you still think, as you say in the book, we could potentially cut the number of adult inmates from our current level of 23,000 by almost half? I think you can, I think we gotta start first. Okay. So let, I, I don't wanna particularly say, you know, half or third or so. If we could start with three to 500 and really, you know, do a good job. I think we could become the model for the, for the country.